Okay, I'm in the throes of cleaning. It's Monday, by the way. I'm just gonna mostly vlog my weekends, but like little sprinkles here and there. I'm finally getting around to switching out some of these, hey, some of these, whatever these are called. You can hear 1989, the record in the background. It's like not knowing where to put them in the house, but I'm just gonna choose a spot. That's the thing. I think I've talked about this. I need to get out of my head and just make a decision. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's better than doing nothing. So I'm gonna switch out some of these plate covers and maybe like put an LED little light thingy around the floor, around my couch. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Tempting these. We'll see. Could be worse. Good morning. Welcome back to another Summer Days vlog. It is Thursday and I'm done with summer school, so technically it's like I've had the whole week off, but there's been, I don't know, I still just wanted to keep up with what I've been doing. I am just drinking coffee and reading this book right now. Probably gonna, I don't know, get up and get ready in a little bit. I think I'm gonna film some stuff today. Some reactions to songs and to albums that I have been wanting to film for a long time, so. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> off forever but yeah I just reacted to the Jonas Brothers album the Alcott by the National featuring Taylor and then I still need to do the Miley album and the three like uh Karma More Lana Snow on the Beach and You're Losing Me so those I think I'm gonna do first and then I might do Endless Summer Vacation like tomorrow. I don't know if I have the juice in me to do another like full album. And the Jonas Brothers album was pretty short. Plus I think Jake's coming over for just like a little smith before he has to go to work. So I don't know, just checking in, but hi, hello. I'm, it feels good to be doing this that I've been wanting to do and meaning to do for a long time. Alrighty then. I listened to slash reacted to You Were Losing Me. And now that I finally have heard it, I'm like deep diving on TikTok to see like what people are saying and all of that. I didn't even listen to the other, like the Karma and Snow on the Beach because I just needed to stop right there and like marinate on You're Losing Me. The bridge is really good. The song, very sad. It's 4.15 and I'm feeling like I don't know what to do with myself, which is pretty typical. So. I might have a snack because once again, it's like I didn't eat lunch. So it's like too late for lunch, but too early for dinner. I don't know, but I don't want to get to the point of like starvation. So we'll see, maybe I'll have a snack. Jake's still supposed to be stopping by, but he's taking his sweet time. <laughs> okay guys, it's about 5 p.m. and I am debating on whether to run out and like go look around Target slash like there's things I could stand to pick up there and like a return that I want to make or drive a little further and go to Home Goods just because I can and I actually have a gift card there which leads me to this <laughs> which is going through this big pile of gift cards that I'm very grateful and fortunate to have it's from like a variety of things at the end of the year of teaching. It was from like my birthday, and like some of this is not just from school, but like my birthday teacher appreciation week and then the end of the year. 
and it's kind of like a hodgepodge and I really want to make sure that I none of this stuff gets like lost or goes you know like does goes unused so I kind of want to like look through everything I have and like sort it out and almost like make a plan to use them because sometimes I think that if you're not intentional well I feel that way about everything if you're not intentional in life then it's really hard to actually do like have things happen without you know the intention and the planning behind it and so like gift cards are kind of one of those things you'll be like oh I forgot I had this and it's like figure it out plan use it so I'm debating whether or not to like leave go out and about a little bit tonight I think that'll help me to because I have no other real plans and I can get really stir crazy really fast in terms of like if I just like stay home have dinner and sit on the couch and watch Real Housewives all night like sure that sounds nice but I don't think like mentally that's actually gonna do me any favors I don't know or yeah like do I want to go out and about or do I not but step one, I'm gonna sort through these gift cards and see if I can even find that home goods gift card. I'm not even all the way done. This is your sign to clean out your purse. Okay. What are you most excited about in this next chapter of your life? Six o'clock check in. Did I say that I don't think I'm gonna end up going out tonight? I don't remember if I said that, but I organized my purse and like, I don't know. I have my gift cards laid out and so I'm trying to like figure out my my life plan as far as those go. But I think I'm going to eat something and then figure out the rest of the night. Taylor Swift just like posted the trailer for season two of Summer, Summer I Turned Pretty and it's featuring, well it has August, but then it also sampled back to December Taylor's version. So that was great. I kind of want to rewatch season one. But these days with the amount of content that there is out there, the amount of like books and podcasts and albums and shows and movies that I want to watch, sometimes it feels like, I don't want to say a waste of time, but kind of to like re-watch or re-listen to things or re-read things. And I kind of hate that because that makes things feel so, I don't know, like that everything in life is just meant to be like crossing things off, like check, 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 read that, saw that, watched that, versus just like reading or watching what you want to watch or read or listen to, etc. If that makes any sense, but it's still hard to not feel that way when I do just kind of feel like there are so many things, so many spinning plates. Like my favorite podcast, which is H3, which is Ethan Klein and like Hila and H3 Productions, they are on their like two weeks hiatus right now, which is actually low key a lifesaver because their podcast is like four times a week and the episodes are between two and four hours long. So, and I'm like devoted, like I watch all of them. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of content. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how am I gonna have time to catch up on anything else? But speaking of rewatching, a rereading. I'm actually listening to the audiobook of Saint X right now. I don't think I've talked about that, have I? I read Saint X, was obsessed. Then I watched the show, was obsessed. It just like had a chokehold on me and I wanted to like reread it literally immediately, but then I checked it out on Libby and I've been listening to it, which even still is like pretty excessive, especially because I don't know, but it's kind of cool because it's like three different mediums of getting the story like me reading it with my own eyes and like my first time and then seeing the show which like yes they make some changes and then obviously I can picture things differently because of specific character like people playing the characters and stuff and now I'm listening to it again through the lens of already knowing the story but now knowing like the two versions and I don't know it's just interesting but this is all to say no matter whether I rewatch season one or I don't, I'm excited for season two. I did read those books last summer. So I watched season one before I read the books and then I went and read books one, two, and three. So we'll see what creative liberties they take. I, honestly though, it's like, can I even remember the book? Probably not. You know, I, I heard this thing and I feel like this is so accurate because people, it's like you are reading a book and then as soon as you're done with it, when you're like a, a reader who reads a lot. You almost forget everything immediately. <laughs> like you forget the details. 
But then I saw somebody say like that quote of you may forget the words that people say, but you'll never forget the way they make you feel. That really is like how books are for me sometimes or for like people. It's like, I might not remember the specifics, but I remember the vibe. I remember the feeling. I remember the, you know, like the thoughts that were in my brain at the time of reading it. And that's how I feel about the summer I turned pretty, but. All right, I'm gonna stop yakking and go make some food. I don't know if this will be of interest to you guys, but thought I would show. So here, let me, is this lighting any better? Over the bathtub? I don't know, maybe it doesn't really matter. So this was a sunscreen that I had gotten. I was using a Dr. Jart facial sunscreen. I'm not like super loyal to one specific facial sunscreen, but I do wear it religiously every day. It pretty much has to be at least 50. I feel like the lowest maybe I've gone before is like 40, but I'm pretty much 50 and above. Like I know there's some good ones or that seem good, but then they're only like 30 and I'm like, sorry, I can't. Anyway, I bought this at Target because I was like, okay, great. It's like affordable. I was, I always have one on deck before I run out. So this was one I had purchased. It's hydrating, it's for the face. SPF 50, CeraVe is a good brand, affordable, great. Then it was the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And this guy was on there, which is like, I think kind of a cult product. It's this Shiseido SPF 50 face and body, like lots of followers. People like love this stuff. And it was more expensive, but it was on sale, obviously during the sale. So I picked it up. Okay, great. So then I ran out of my Dr. Jart and I went to try this guy. And I'm telling you, it leaves the whitest white cast in the history of the world. Actually, I've had it on this whole time. Like, and I think that you're probably gonna be able to see it in the reaction videos that I filmed. The only saving grace is that I was using natural light today. I wasn't using my like studio light. And so I think the white cast shows up more with uh, fake light, but either way, I was like, what the heck? I wore it twice. I wore it the other day with no makeup. And I was like, Jake, doesn't my face look white? But he's like, not the one to ask. He was like, you're beautiful. Like, whatever. <laughs> Thanks. But, and then today I wore it under makeup, but then I went on Target, like, and I scanned it and sure, I read all the reviews and they were like, leaves a white cast, leaves a white cast. So I was like, okay, so I think I am gonna return that. This is all just to show you that this is what I'm gonna be opening to try out. So I'll try it out tomorrow and I will let you know if I have any updates. And then also if you have any face SPF recommendations, I've used all kinds of things. Let me show you what I was using before. This one was like random. Again, I'm not loyal to any specific one. This was one I picked up at like one of the last Sephora sales or something. Cause it's SPF, SPF 50. I don't even know if this one's specifically for your face, honestly. I think it is. Or like it can be used on the face, but it was like relatively affordable, but like a nice brand, a nice, you know, high amount of SPF. Like I'm willing to kind of spend a little more when it comes to skincare and like face stuff. I'm also down with drugstore. I've even used the Sunbum face one before. I think I've used Super Goop, like glow screen, I think. Or the other one, the like sheer glow, is that what it's called? I don't know. Let me know if you have any facial SPF recommendations. And like I said, I'll keep you updated if there's anything to update on this. But sadly, the CeraVe one did not work. Casper vibes. Home from Target. I really got nothing all that exciting, so I don't even really have anything to show you. I got mostly groceries and yeah, literally groceries. And then I got this because I ended up returning that uh, sunscreen. And then it was past the date when you could return it. So they just gave me a merch credit instead of like money back, which is fine. But so it was like a $15 merch credit and I've been wanting to get a pepper grinder. So I got this one from Hearth and Hand, which was like $14.99, so exactly $15. The reviews were a little mixed. It said like how it always leaves the little pepper crumbs at the bottom and stuff like that, but I don't know. Ultimately, back to my whole 
Did I say this earlier? I don't know. Something I always do is I overanalyze and I think and I think and I think and I'm like, it's like there's just this crazy volley between like the angel and devil or not even the angel and devil, but just between the two schools of thought for literally everything in my brain. There's just like this really intense volley happening of like, okay, maybe this, but no, but this, but this, but this, but this. And then I just, it's like maddening. And so I've been really working on just like make a decision. It doesn't matter. Like even me going to Target right now stem from me being like, I'm feeling like I should leave the house. Should I go to Target? No, maybe I shouldn't. What am I gonna get? I've already seen everything there and I shouldn't spend money and da, da, da. But then it's like, just go, just shut up. Just make a decision, just do it. If it's the wrong one, it's not that big of a deal. Like it's a pepper grinder. It's gonna be okay. So that's like my therapizing myself pepper grinder. And then I also got this, which I got something like a few weeks ago in my Target haul that actually was the same kind of thing where I was gonna try to separate the colored pencils. I think this might actually work better. And then the turning one maybe can just be like at my own desk. I don't know, we'll figure it out. There was more stuff in that dollar spot for education and even like in the back to school section, gross, ew, why is it here already? That I was tempted to get, but I was like, no, don't get stuff just to get it. Like only get something that you like kind of need or have been wanting or like have a purpose for, you know? So that's why I got this. It was like $4. Oh yes, I also got this, the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension Mascara with lengthening fibers. I really need new mascara. I think I talked about it earlier. I have historically always been more of a high-end mascara person, but obviously like drugstore is way cheaper and Essence is very affordable. I've been using the Lash Princess and it's running out and I don't have a mascara on deck, which like I'm a very on deck person. I like to like most of everything I got today literally was just to have like my backup for when my one that I use all the time is about to run out. like backup cereal or backup salsa or whatever. But this, I just wanted to try another like $5 price point since I was buying it on a whim, but like a different one within that $5 range. Some people have recommended L'Oreal Telescopic, which I thought about, but that one's like more on the $11 price point, which is okay, like that's a good price. But again, considering, I don't know. And there were no sales and Target will often do like, buy, spend $20 on beauty, get a $5 gift card or whatever. So I was like, well, I could maybe try that when that sale comes up or just like get this one right now. Don't mind, my laundry room's a, a mess right now. Probably no one was minding. I find that when I watch YouTube videos and people are like, don't mind my background, don't mind my hair. Don't, I'm like, oh, I wasn't minding it. Yet I still feel the need to say the same. Oh, I hear a little pause. Good morning. Anyway, I need to go shower, but I wanted to show you because that's the other like semi fun thing I got. Greetings from my bedroom floor with the mirror in the background. Let's. I really just need a new phone is the thing. I can blame the lighting all that I want. Ooh, my blush still be looking good though. That's Flower Beauty Blush with a little bit of MAC powder. It's like a gelish, I don't know, gel. <laughs> and then a little bit of MAC powder on top. Anyway the new Olivia Rodrigo song is out and the video and I'm really tempted to react to it right now. Actually, maybe I should before I shower and take my makeup off because that way I can like listen to it all night or whatever, assuming it's good, which I really think it will be. Okay, let's do it. You guys, I'm so excited. Hi guys, I don't think I updated you. I think I said I was gonna react to Olivia, but I did. And spoiler alert, it's good. I'm very excited for the album now. I already was, but. So I've showered, done skincare, have some rose hip seed oil on, hence the shininess. And I'm gonna get in bed and edit and probably go to bed after that. So I'm meeting up with my friends slash coworkers in the morning to get some coffee. And then I think I'm gonna go into school for a little bit to work. We will see, but I don't think I have anything else to say tonight. If I do, you'll be the first to know, but good night for now. It's Friday morning. I had insomnia last night. 
which I haven't really dealt with fortunately in a long time. But what that means is now I'm real tired as I am waking up to go meet my friends for coffee. And I don't know if I mentioned that I might go into school today to work in my classroom. I will admit that my motivation is lower now that I'm like, ugh, but I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I just put this on for the first time. Here's my quick thoughts, first thoughts. It's pretty liquidy, like pretty watery. So that's, I don't know. It's not like inherently negative, but it's, it just makes it a little harder to work with, I think. And it also has like a tiny, it doesn't have a tint. I think when you put it on, like it doesn't actually have a tint, but when it's not like white, it's like a, like a tan kind of a color. But I really like the way it smells and then it really kind of sunk in and like blended in nicely. It didn't feel like I didn't really have to like rub, rub, rub. I don't know. I like it. Tiny learning curve with the liquidness, but I like it. Okay, so I just got home from coffee. It ended up just being me and Quinn. Did I even tell you I was supposed to go with like a few coworkers? It ended up just being the two of us that live like, well, whatever. It ended, it ended up just being the two of us. And then Quinn was supposed to have like an appointment for her dog to get groomed, but it ended up getting moved. So we talked for three hours and it was great, but it did mean that I kind of no longer had the juice or the motivation or like felt like I had the time of day, although technically I do, to go work in my classroom, which is annoying in the sense that the more I like put that off or make it seem like a big deal, it's gonna feel like a bigger deal. But my plan is to hopefully go next week, like Monday and Tuesday, maybe I can make that a commitment. I also desperately had to pee and our little local coffee shop, as cute as it is, does not have a bathroom. So I was like, oh, let me just go home. But I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my day now. I'm gonna start by letting this dog out and then I'm hungry, I should find something to eat. Who's here to see you? <laughs> hey buddy. Can only where's Jake? Hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> All right, it's about 5.30, Jake stopped by, but he left, he has to go work. And so I'm left my own devices and I'm once again feeling like, I, didn't, I don't think I really said this last night, I don't remember, but when I just was like, I need to go to Target, like I need to get out of the house, I just wanna go walk around. And I'm kind of feeling that way and I might venture further up to this like really bougie outdoor mall and I invited my friend Bethany, ideally we would go together, but she hasn't responded. So I might just go. And then if she responds, maybe she can come meet me and we can go from there. But if I sit here and I think about it for too long, I'll just not go. And then I'll just like stew and get on my hamster wheel of thoughts. And I really don't like being there. So I think I'm just gonna put on shoes and go. It 
7.40 and I just got home. I bought one thing from CB2, this glass carafe, but it wasn't actually in stock. So they had to ship it to the store and I have to go back next week and pick it up. And maybe that time somebody will be available to go with me. Cause for now it was just solo, but it was fun. Got to smell those perfumes. I think I like the Jake's house, but it's definitely cannoli. Hey, what's over there? It's not the kind of scent that I would like typically go for. Obviously the name is skewing me, but I do like it. What's back there? No real updates over here, you guys. I showered, I ate that leftover Chipotle and it was so good. It really like hit the spot in such a way. I heated it up and I ate it with some chips. It was so good and watched a bunch of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now I just put some Crest whitening stuff on my teeth, not strips. It's like the whitening emulsions and I'm gonna get in bed because I am bored, honestly. I'm just like, okay. I know there's stuff I could do, but I'm just not in the zone for doing like physical stuff. So I just wanted to change pace from the couch to here. Last night I started watching Center Stage, which is on Hulu and is a deeply iconic film from the early 2000s. At least for me it is. And I watched this so frequently when I was like in seventh and or eighth grade and it is taking me back and I didn't finish it last night. So I'm gonna finish it right now. So I'm gonna say goodnight and I'll see you in the morning. What day is it? I think it's Saturday. Like teacher things, summer break things. I am in my pajamas, I'm on the couch. I'm like, this is why I do summer school. This is why, like, I'm just the type of person where I will just be a blob all day if I have nothing to do, which to an extent is okay. Like I deserve a break, teaching is really hard, but I'm just here. But thankfully my friend Bryn, who is also works, at, she's not a teacher, but she's, in like admin at our school. She just FaceTimed me and was like, hi, I'm so bored, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. Like, and so I might go hang out with her later. She lives really close. But for now, I'm just drinking this coffee, which is really hitting the spot. It's just like my normal black coffee, but it's hitting the spot, I'm watching Housewives of Atlanta, and I'm getting hungry. Maybe I'll make a smoothie. I don't know, but I just wanted to say hi. You're missing literally nothing. So that's why I haven't vlogged. One of my favorite things to do. Oh, I had a feeling it was gonna be cats because the last one was dogs. Let's see this one. This is all about like, I don't know, women, historical women. Bam. Oh no, I don't think I really know her. I need to learn about her. Corazon Aquino. She, first female president of the Philippines. Cool. I'm really not in the mood to even talk about this. Not that it's that big of a deal, but I made that smoothie and that's all I've eaten. And now I have like a weird stomach pain and the long and short is that this pain is reminiscent to a pain that I would get and after making like smoothies and smoothie bowls and stuff. And I remember kind of coming to the conclusion that whenever I had something that had raspberries in it, I would get this feeling. And it's so hard to describe. It's just like, it's like abdominal pain. It's not like gas or like, I, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, it's not cramping. It's not, it's just like a weird kind of middle of the stomach, just like pain. It feels like there's no relief for it. And so I have basically like eliminated raspberries from my diet, which is like relatively easy. Cause I'm like, oh, I think maybe I have an intolerance of some kind. Well, I just made a smoothie and it had strawberries, mangoes, peach, and like a little bit of banana. That was like the fruit. Otherwise it had like spinach and chia seeds and blah, blah, blah. But now I'm having that really strong pain again and I'm 
I'm confused and I'm like annoyed and maybe it's not connected, but I feel like it is. And I was Googling, which, you know, how we all know how that can go, but it was saying that like some people do have intolerance to fructose, which is like in fruits. And so I'm wondering if it wasn't just like a raspberry intolerance, but like a fructose intolerance, but then like, why do I not get it all the time? And like the fruits that I put in this smoothie historically, I feel like are like fine, maybe. I, but now it's like, I would have to do that like process of elimination thing to even figure it out. Like, I feel like I have strawberries a lot and bananas I have a lot. So was it the peach? Like I've been having mango, I don't know, but it's annoying. <sighs> so one thing I like to do sometimes when I have a stomach ache is drink kombucha. I feel like that helps and neutralizes things. It's almost like drinking a ginger ale when you have nausea or whatever. But I don't know if that will actually help because it feels like this might be a different kind of stomach ache since it's like an intolerance. Also, I'm totally self-diagnosing, but I don't know. You know your body, you know what I mean? And like, again, maybe I'm totally wrong, but this just feels weird. It just feels like different. It feels like my body's just kind of like rejecting something. And again, it doesn't feel like I have to go to the bathroom or anything. It's just like a pain. So I might have some kombucha and best case scenario, it helps. But like what I'm hoping is that it doesn't make it worse. <laughs> if it's like net neutral, okay, fine. But really hope it doesn't make it worse. That would not be ideal. These are the kombuchas I have in my fridge right now. I always just like to have a bunch on hand, like I'll randomly pick them up. I'm tempted to try this one because it just looks fun, but I don't know. And now I'm like nervous. I'm like, well, is strawberry or raspberry or mango going to hurt? And like, yeah, I don't know. I just realized that I said I've eliminated raspberries, but I guess, but I mean like real raspberry. Like I've had raspberry flavored things since this like quote unquote discovery. I don't know. This one, look how fun it's blue. What are the flavors in this one? I literally got it because of the color, but I think it tells us what's in it. Um, black tea, green tea, kiwi juice, coconut water, ginger, and spirulina. Maybe I'll try this one since there's not really like fruit in it. I mean, there's coconut. Is coconut a fruit? Okay, we'll try some of this one. Well, ain't that a sight? I love blue things. I'm such a child. Do you want a live trial? Interesting. Definitely different than the normal kombuchas I have. It's, it doesn't smell good. Not that it ever really does. It's nice, I don't know. I can taste the coconut, but it's not super strong and I can taste like other things too, but I don't even know what I'm tasting. Well, let's hope this helps. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I do think the kombucha is helping. So I think I'm gonna finish the bottle. <laughs> Okay, so I did my Tone It Up workout. And then Bryn texted me and I was like, I think we should go to on a field trip because there's a Kohl's nearby us and I have like a random like $12 merch credit to Kohl's. And that one, has, they just remodeled it to have a Sephora in it and I haven't seen it. So I'm like, mm. But she was like, how about you just come over here? So I think I'm gonna go over there. I'm probably gonna bring my merch credit in case like I feel the need to go to Kohl's after or I can convince her to come with me. I'm sad because I can't take cannoli. So that makes me bummed to leave him here, but that's okay. I should get out of the house. Call me. Oh, you got this one's Stanley? That's Douglas. Oh, that's what I meant. Yes. Karina's Douglas. I don't know why I said Stanley. Who's Stanley? You have another? Yeah, well, sorry, you have like 17 pets. He's a light orange one. Oh, yeah. Hi, Douglas. Oh, my phone those are cute. I know. But when I look at you, you're blurry. Okay. So I don't think I'm ready yet. No. Yeah, like the reading on, like reading that mattress from .com thing, it was blurry. Yeah. 
Well, it's like 9 p.m. and I just got home from Brins. I did not go to Kohl's or anywhere like that. Welcome to my garage, by the way. I hang up all my like, fun stuff in here. But that's okay because we had a lot of fun. And now I wasn't just at home all day. So I am hungry though and I need to shower. So I need to sort that out. You guys haven't missed anything. Showered, ate, watched YouTube. Now I'm gonna go read in bed. I braided my hair because it was wet from washing it yesterday. And I don't know. I pretty much wear my hair up all the time, especially in the summer, but Maybe I wanted the option to have it be like down, but I didn't want to go through the rigmarole of like curling it and doing it when I do nothing all day, every day. Like, well, who am I curling my hair for? And it's just like a hot process. So nobody asked for this, but I'm just showing you that now I look like Wednesday Adams. I sprayed in the Way Wave Spray and it smells so good. Oh. baby. All right guys, it is Sunday night now and it was just like a really chill, good Sunday. Like Jake stayed over and I made us pancakes and all that, you saw that. We like chilled for a while and then he had to go do some work and I attempted to change out the handle. I did not successfully do it, but <sighs> Jake's gonna try to come help me some point, not tonight. But I'm gonna end this vlog here because now I'm like showered, I'm in my new PJs, and I'm going to go like kind of plan out my week since tomorrow's Monday and I'm on summer break and I just wanna kind of like set myself up for success somewhat. And I'm debating between watching YouTube or The Real Housewives. Age old question. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, concerns, and I will see you uh, for next week's summer vlog oh my gosh this is the upcoming week Th during this next summer vlog is going to be speak now taylor's version so i also have a few reactions to edit so maybe i'll edit and post those this week but either way speak now taylor's version coming soon love you